Now that we know how to make choosing and submitting a request form in Jira Service Desk more user-friendly, we'll press Create and see what's next. We see the Request Detail view, where all the information we provided on the previous step is presented. We see the status of the request, can comment on it or share with another user or organization. But neither we can edit the field's values, nor see who and when will take care of the issue. If we're short on time, this can be really frustrating. In addition, the default names of statuses from Jira can sound generic and incomprehensible at times, just like system field names on request form. What can we do to improve this? Actually, quite a lot. If we go back to the Edit Field screen under the Request type, we'll see the Workflow Statuses tab. Just like we provided display names for fields on the request form, we can specify display names for each workflow status on a given request type. Of course, you can create custom statuses in the Workflow Editor, but then their names will be restricted to the issue type, and sometimes you will need them to differ for actual request types like when you have the same request types in two different languages and want your statuses to be understandable in both. Here we have a specific use case of booking a hotel room, so we'll rename the statuses accordingly. Their soldier service desk allows us to do out of the box, but there are marketplace apps that can help us do a lot more. If we go to the general tab of extension for Jira service desk settings, we will notice a bunch of things that we can enable customers to see on the request view. The first one is show assignee with context configuration for specific statuses. Then we can enable exporting single requests to DAC format, display the issues attachments and dates of issue creation, last update or resolution. Here we also restrict access to removing participants on certain request types, which is sometimes needed to prevent unconscious action by a customer. But not only can we show customers who is assigned to the issue, but also when the next response will come or when the issue will get resolved. By default, SLA metrics were visible only to Jira Service Desk admins and agents, and with the extension app, we can show these metrics to our clients. Here, we match the metrics with the user groups that have access to them. What's more, we can show Jira issues linked to the request to keep the customers updated on the work in progress. In the Issue Links section, we choose which link types to show for each request type and specify which fields to show from the linked issues. Typically, we'd like to display the summary, the priority and the status, but it's configurable if we need something else. So now we can provide customers with all the needed information about their requests to keep them informed and feel taken care of. But there's still not much they can do on the request view. Basically, what they are left with is commenting and sharing. Fortunately, there is a way to improve this aspect as well and give our clients a more active role in the support process. Actions for Jira Service Desk enables workflow actions on your customer portal to implement ITIL best practices with the solution. Here's my basic workflow for this project and I can enable actions on any transition here, which I'll show you in a minute. What I wanted to point out here is that for some actions we have to create extra transitions from any status to itself. I have two of them here, named Edit and Feedback. When we have the transitions ready, we go to Workflow Actions Setup in the Administration Add-on section. Here we set up workflow actions and assign screens of fields for them. Be sure to use the correct transitions from the appropriate workflow, because this is global setup, so here's the full list of possible transitions across your Jira. Then provide the display name, the description for the transition screen and the set of system or custom fields to appear on that screen. With the checkboxes available, we can hide empty fields from the screen, hide the typed in characters which is useful with passwords, or make some fields uneditable by selecting read only. After the setup, the customers will see these transitions as buttons on the right side of the screen. The actions will be displayed dynamically according to the current issue status, logged in users' permissions and other conditions specified for the project. Other possible actions could be closing or reopening the request, making Jira Service Desk a bit more self-service than the default option. We can also see a lot more information than before, the SINE, created and updated dates and time to resolution. In addition, we could grab the SINE's contact details from the LDAP server using Active Directory Attribute Sync app and show them as well. There is an explanation link in the description of this video. 
In the next video, we'll take a look at the last screen our customer has seen this solution.